now available in paperback and e-readers, Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get your copy today at your favorite online bookseller. As the migrant crisis has gone on in cities like New York, I have heard many black people say that there is a grand plan by the government to replace foundational black Americans in most of the major cities oh, like New York with migrants. And according to these individuals, they believe that what the government wants to do is push all the foundational black Americans out of the cities and bring in the migrants to work for less money and have their smooth world where they won't have to deal with foundational black Americans going out here and making all of the money and living in the cities. Now, this grand plan is one that I believe will be one of the biggest mistakes that the U.S. government has made since passing the Telecom Act of 1996 and having TV go digital in 2009. Now, both of those decisions basically have imploded American media and turned it into something that nobody wants anything to do with and a decision to push all of the foundational black Americans out of the cities will make life in those cities basically untenable. Now, most of these cities have a higher quality of life than many rural areas because of foundational black Americans and the foundational black American dollar. Now, most foundational black Americans don't understand the value of the black dollar the way Many of previous generations understood the value of the black dollar due to the way many of us were raised under the system of integration. And under the system of integration, many black people were spellbound to believe that white-owned and non-black-owned businesses were better than black-owned businesses, and we needed to spend our money with many of these white and non-black businesses in order to gain white and non-black social acceptance, not understanding that social currency has no economic value. And because many of us believe that the black dollar didn't have a value, that's why we went out here and spent our money with a lot of businesses, businesses that go out here and make 97% of their money from black people in black communities. Now, if you really take a critical look at the black dollar, the black dollar is the one that has the highest value out of all the dollars in the United States. And it has a high value because, one, many black people don't value their dollars. Two, many black people value social currency more than money. And three, many black people never are taught to think about concepts like economics from the subtle politics transpiring around them and because they never really think about the subtle politics transpiring around them they never really understand that the black dollar is the one that is basically holding up many of these cities and allowing them to be afforded a higher quality of life because if you look at most black communities you can see that most of the businesses are not black owned no, most of the businesses in predominantly black areas usually have white supermarkets, Hispanic bodegas, Arab corner grocery stores, Indian fast food restaurants, Chinese restaurants, Korean hair and nail salons, many um, other and other businesses. And again, there are no black businesses in a black community, but many of the racists will talk about how black people are destroying the quality of life but if you take a critical look you see that most of their money comes from black people and again if the black community was so worthless why would you open up businesses in black communities critical question I have to ask all of those individuals who believe that they're going to go out here and replace foundational black Americans with migrants because if you go out here 
and replace foundational black Americans with migrants, what's going to happen is that foundation that was holding up many of these cities will start to crumble. And it will crumble because, again, you're pushing out the dollar with the highest value out of all the dollars in the economy. And when you push the dollar with the highest value out of your economy, your economy definitely is going to change and it's not going to change for the better because the foundational black American dollar, one, does have the highest value and two, foundational black Americans, when they are in an area, they most of them are working and most foundational black Americans are working for higher wages than your migrant and also going out here and doing something that many migrants will not do and that is pay taxes. Now, the people who say that they want to replace foundational black Americans with migrants think that, oh, they can just replace black people with another minority, but it's not going to have the same economic impact, especially if those migrants are paid a lower wage. And if they're paid a lower wage, that means they go into lower tax brackets if they pay taxes and I say if they pay taxes because a lot of times when you're dealing with people who are entering the country illegally a lot of times even if they do get working papers they will look to work off the books in order to keep getting more money so that means that's going to be less money coming into the city's tax coffers and if there's less money coming into the city's tax coffers what that means is that the quality of life is going to decline because there's going to be less money for services such as roads, such as streets, such as libraries, such as public schools, and even municipal services like getting things like getting driver's licenses or and, and even in the case of jury duty, you won't even have jurors because you need citizens to be jurors. So this whole plan to push foundational black Americans out of a community will, will go out here and decline the quality of life in these cities because, again, it is the foundational black American who is the reason why we have a standard for a quality of life in these cities. And it is the foundational black American dollar that allows people to have a higher quality of life. Because many of the people who open up businesses in the black community, they get their middle class lifestyle from all of those foundational black Americans. And many of those people are afforded enough money, excuse me, to send their kids to private schools to pay for their private university educations and even to expand their businesses so any plan to go out here and push black people out of the cities would go out here and destroy all of those revenue streams for all of those individuals such as the arab corner grocery store the white supermarket the indian fast food restaurant the korean hair and nail salon the dominican barber shop all of these businesses would basically wind up going out of business because if there are no foundational black Americans to spend their foundational black American dollars, all of these businesses would basically go broke because there's no black people to go out here and make the biggest error they have made ever since integration because they don't know the value of their dollars and that is spending their money outside of the black community because it's the foundational black American who is the only one who will go out here and freely spend 97 out of $100 in their community with other communities and go out here and spend money with them because they believe they don't have many options. And it's the black dollar that is the one that is the one that makes mo that makes most of these businesses their money. So if you push all of the foundational black Americans out of an area, what's going to happen to the overall economy is the overall economy is going to decline in these cities because there are no black dollars in that area. And because there are no black dollars in that area, Many of those businesses that benefited from the black dollar will be forced to close 
the same way many of these foreign businesses when they enter into white or non-black areas usually wind up or being forced to close because many of the whites and non-blacks if you open up a store in those areas or a business in those areas will not support it however because many black folks are spellbound and caught up in the whole concept of integration uh, they go to these businesses and again they go to these businesses because they really don't understand the concept of group economics one and two many black people value social currency more than group economics and because they value social currency they believe that going out to these businesses will create a covert contract where they believe they will get white acceptance so they will go to these businesses and look to spend their 3.3 trillion dollars in spending power and give 97 out of 100 dollars to all of these businesses and again these cities will allow people to live a high quality of life because there was a large sizable foundational black american population in those cities however if you take away that black population and replace it with another population it creates a paradigm shift as related to that economy because what will happen with that economy is that economy will implode and that economy will implode because these other individuals that you're replacing black people with do not have the same codependent mindset as related to money that foundational black americans have nor do they have any sort of investment in these communities the way foundational black americans do no many of these migrants who they want to bring into these areas that are predominantly black they do not have the same economic investment in those areas because foundational black americans as american citizens have a vested interest in their community however due to their low self-esteem what they don't do is go out here and demand tangibles in exchange for their tax dollar and because they don't demand tangibles in exchange for their tax dollar this allows people who live outside of the black community to be able to take resources out of the black community and invest them into their own neighborhoods and invest them into those neighborhoods to give themselves a higher quality of life for example areas like the upper east side and upper west side of manhattan they directly benefit from the black dollars of people who used to live in places like harlem in the south bronx because since those taxpayers don't go out here and demand better quality of services what happens is that money gets allocated to other areas where those people go out here and take advantage of the naivete of black people and they build up their areas and improve their quality of life however if there are no foundational black americans to go out here and pay any taxes and you've got migrants working off the books or working for lower wages there is no tax money to go out here and improve the quality of life in areas like the upper east side or the upper west side no there's no tax money so when you push the foundational black american out you wind up taking money from yourself because again these individuals they're not invested in an area the way black people are because black people need to live here because they're american citizens however a migrant again has entered the country illegally and because they've entered the country illegally and they've gotten some sort of status what they do is use that status to, to play both sides and they use that status to go out here and work in america not for improving a better quality of life here in america they take they make money here off the books in some cases and on the books and what they do is send that money outside of the country and as that money goes outside of the country through western union what happens is the money that would have gone into the city's tax coffers winds up going out of the country so the entire economic base that was providing tax revenue excuse me winds up completely eroding and as it winds up completely eroding many of the racists they'll sit there and think oh i've got a smooth world because all the black people are gone but the entire quality of life in that city has basically wound up imploding because again it's the black dollar that enables everybody to have a higher quality of life and it is the black 
community that allows there to be a standard for all others to follow. And again, if you take away the black community from many of these cities, they will resemble what the old Jim Crow South used to look like after the Great Migration, because after the Great Migration, the entire Jim Crow South became one of the poorest areas, and it became one of the poorest areas in America because there was no foundational black American dollar for others to go out here and co-depend on. And because there was no black dollar to co-depend on, what happened is many of these guys who used to go out here and make their money off black people, they wound up going broke, and the municipalities became extremely corrupt to the point where they were basically embezzling a lot of the money that was given to them as related to tax dollars and very little went to services to the people. So a lot of people think, oh, if we get rid of the black people out of the cities, that the quality of life will improve. No, the quality of life in most of these cities will get worse because, again, it is the foundational black American dollar that is the foundation of the economy. It is the foundational black American dollar that allows many people to go out here and live middle class lifestyles. And again, if black people understood the power of the $3.3 trillion in spending power that they have in cash and credit, they would go out here and really make some changes to their lives. Because again, if we took that $3.3 trillion and invested it in ourselves by going out here and investing in black-owned businesses like my SJS Direct Imprint and many other black-owned businesses, we could go out here and have an economy that was as strong as Japan, as Germany, as many of these foreign countries. We could go out here and have the second largest economy in America. But sadly, many black people are spellbound and want to take their black dollars to fit into black boxes that are acceptable to whites and non-blacks and take their money to invest in trying to get social currency instead of looking to build wealth inside of the black community. That is the saddest part. And again, when I look at this whole grand plan to get blacks out of cities, this will be, again, a major mistake because without the black dollar, many of these cities will not be able to function. Many of these cities will not be able to generate enough tax revenue. Many of these cities would basically fall completely apart because again, if most of the migrants go out here and open up their businesses in black communities and there are no black people, how are they going to go out here and make any money? Critical question many of the racists have not thought about because they're so caught up in their feelings about having their smooth world and because they're thinking about having their smooth world where they don't have to deal with giving black people their money, they don't see how rough they're going to make it for themselves and they don't see how rough they're going to make it for themselves because if there are no black people in the cities, that means there's no black dollars in the cities, and that means that many of these cities are going to be dealing with budget deficits that will implode their economy because, again, migrants don't spend money in America or invest in America. No, they invest money overseas, and again, if most of your money is going overseas, it's not going into your tax coffers, and it's not going to give you money for services. So this whole plan, again, to get rid of foundational black Americans will knock the foundation right out from under America because out of all the dollars, it's the black dollar that has the highest value. And most racists, they don't want to acknowledge that the black dollar is power and don't want to acknowledge that if it, without the black dollar, the white dollar does not survive. And again, it's the black dollar that keeps many whites and non-blacks able to eat very well even though many black people live in poverty and the main reason why many black people live in poverty is because they don't understand their value to america they don't understand their value as black people and if we understood our value as black people and our val and the value of our dollars i think we would take our 3.3 trillion in spending power and start spending it on ourselves because we would, if we understood our value, we would be out here looking to go out here 
and take our money and use it as a way to take our respect because we have been disrespected for too long. Many of these people want the black dollar, but they don't want to give black people respect. And it's time that black people really started to take a look at ourselves, take a look at the way we spend money because everybody gets rich on the black dollar while the black community remains in poverty. And if we took that black dollar and started spending that black dollar and using it to enrich ourselves, we would be able to go out here and build a nation in a nation that would be on the level of Japan or Germany but we've got to get out of the mindset that, oh, they're pushing us out. No, if they push us out, they fall. And again, they fall because, again, everything as related to their economy is based on the foundation of foundational black American dollars. Now, if you want to support my black-owned business, SJS Direct, you can pick up some of my positive black fiction on Amazon.com, such as the ISIS series, the Steam series, the John Haynes series, the books of the Spisterella trilogy, my black sorority novel, The Thetas, my black vampire novel, Eternal Night, and many of my men's issues books. You can find all those books in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find them at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBookstore, and Google Play for digital books. And you can also find paperbacks at Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and Target. And if you want to see me make more videos like this, you can send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, vampires stalk the darkness of the Eternal Night. Get your copy of Eternal Night in paperback and Kindle on Amazon.com.